welcome back to the channel I'm actually in the middle of um, swapping out these or in adding the shock extensions um, I did check to see if they fit they do so uh, this is part number 1290 made by mr. gasket and of course on the back here's the info here that uh, gives a little explanation as to um, the specs so um, yeah all I have to do is reach up there you have this uh, rubber grommet and a steel plate just like there's one down here there's one up there as well I have to pull that up and then pull this down through here add the extension and then put these pieces up at the top on top of this thing so let me pause right here I'm gonna go ahead and pull this down and then uh, get everything set up and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about all right guys so I ended up pulling the whole shock off because it was brutal trying to press this thing down and uh, get this on here I ended up taking five eighths get this out of the grass so you guys can see it I ended up taking a five eighths open end wrench or box end wrench and my vice uh, crescent wrench and I put the vice crescent on this part clamped it down Put the 5 8 down here and crank down on this that way uh, it's on there good and solid so um, now all that needs to be done here is the part I was talking about so you have this piece here that goes up there like that and then this piece here goes right down in there so I'm going to get this set up and be right back all right guys I'm back um, it's another hot one and having a fight with this thing was not fun but as you can see there it is right there Let's see if I can turn the flashlight on on this phone there we go all right so as you can see there's that there's that and I got that on there so let me go ahead and zip this back on here with my handy dandy Ryobi let's see here come on line up there we go hey guys I got a question for you is it loud all right, so I'll uh, hit that with the wrench uh, after I'm done with this. But let me go ahead and throw this back on the neck down here, if it'll let me. Let's see here. Uh, and then get my... Uh, this ratchet, let me turn the flight, uh, I'll leave the flashlight on since I'm going back in the dark here. Uh, but yeah, this is also a 5 8 The glare from the flashlight will not allow me, there we go. So as you can see, this is also a 5 8 so, um, actually let me make sure it's going the right way, which it is not. There we go. Alright, that would have been frustrating. So, all you do is... Uh, let's see here. Let's see if maybe I can do this left-handed. Yep. Like I said, guys, I am just not right-handed. Alright, so uh, all I'm doing is tightening this up. And this is going to go this way instead, I think. So let me finish this up and I'll show you guys the end result. Alright guys, so that's back together. I just uh, tightened that down with the ratchet. But now I don't have to worry about destroying my uh, shock 
as you can see it's got quite a bit of travel in it now compared to the other side um, but uh, now if I wanted to go even bigger on my lift which I eventually will there's plenty of room um, the information I read about these is it allows for an extra five inches of travel so I have a two and a half inch lift on here um, which is right there I'm sure you guys remember my previous video but um, I'm planning to put a six inch lift on here on the front and the rear uh, I just don't uh, I need to do some more research because I know you're supposed to get some brackets for this uh, arm here on both sides for your twin beams there's a drop bracket for it and then of course you also have the um, uh, pitman arm, a drop pitman arm, and I don't know if I will have to replace my um, sleeves, my caster camber sleeves, bushings, whatever they're called. I don't know how if I'll have to replace those if I go with a um, taller lift. So I'm just doing my research because I don't like putting a, a you know modifying a vehicle. And then it not run right or it not drive right because that's not safe. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, I mean, I am going to finish the other side here. But just to compare, I can get in there. I've got the tire turned kind of hard. But yeah, that's what the this shock looks like. So, um it's not as compressed as the other one so anyway let me finish this up and uh, I'll catch you on the next one thanks for watching later gators